So here I've got my pages document with each page taking up a full eight and a half by 11 size. Even though I want them to be half that, ultimately they kind of need to be twice as big to fit on half the size of the paper. So I've got uh, all different sections. So it might help to do a paper version of it first, a dummy, just to figure out what you want to land where on which page. And then I export things a PDF at best quality. Uh, save this out and give it a name, specific name. And it creates the PDF file slowly. So then I go find it. It's not on the desktop, right? It's on the, it's in the documents. Right, so here's my PDF, full size. Now I open it in Create Booklet 2, and it has a whole bunch of presets. And actually the first one is the one that I want, a basic booklet, which is two pages uh, up on a single, like two pages per letter-sized page. So I'll print this to my printer, which will automatically duplex it, which means it'll flip it over and print both sides. So it's saying, remember you want it to print to flip over on the short side um, so that it's not going top to bottom, it's going side to side. Um, this takes a little experimentation to get used to, but uh, best quality, and I'll print. So now I'll print all my pages, which given how graphically heavy they are, will take a while for the printer. I use a high yield duplexing printer. Both of these things are really important. Uh, the printer cartridges, even though the printer costs more itself, initially the printer cartridges are so much cheaper to use because they can't contain a ton of ink as opposed to the little thimble full that you usually get. Um, you can also save this uh, imposed booklet to reuse later on. So you don't have to keep doing this each time. And then I'll just discard everything about the original because I don't care about that. So this is going to take a little while to print in the background. And as you can see, here's my imposed version. So the pages are all kind of shuffled and jumbled up so that when I fold them all together, they'll be in the, in the proper order. I could never have, with a 20 odd page booklet, it would have been so mind boggling to try to figure this out manually, but I don't have to because the software is doing that for me. So this has gone off to the printer. So I'll cut away and come back when those pages are done. So, Here's the cover, which I printed on a piece of cardstock. And now my interior pages, which are properly imposed by the software so that the right sides fall on the front and the back. Important to number your pages so that should they come unshuffled in the, in the process of working on them, you can get them back together. Now, these are not particularly expensive, but a great investment I've found because it makes making booklets really simple. It's called a saddle stapler. So instead of with a long arm one where you're trying to fiddle and find out the right place to put your staple, with this you just sit the sort of mountain of your pages on the, the base there and staple through. Now you could use a just a straight edge and a and a carpet blade to trim your pages. I bought this thing, which is a, a, a cantilever arm guillotine. It was a hundred and something bucks uh, online, and I've used it so so much. So it's really been worth it for me. So I'll line my pages up here based on the cut line I can see. Just just to trim them, get rid of some of that white edge. And like here there's that the bleed or the creep, I think they call it. Um, and I can get rid of that on here by lining it up properly and giving it a trim. One last 
last cut. Right. And here we go. There's my comic. All printed, composed, stapled, and done.